Nola Gent here in Chattanooga, Tennessee at Scotty's on the River at the Spring Hill Suites Marriott. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. So I'm meeting my pal the Major here for a quick bite to eat at Scotty's on the River here in Chattanooga. And it is, as the name says, right on the river. And this place has some really cool things about it. Unfortunately, here in the middle of the COVID-19 situation, a lot of those amazing options aren't really fully being utilized and I can't really show them all to you, but I will make a visit back at some point in the future so you can get an even better appreciation of what all this really cool place offers. So you've got a great patio here on the front, obviously, and on a nice day, that certainly is a good place to sit. But we're going to head on inside and check this place out. This is the first time I've ever been here. So it's a new restaurant to me. And it is a relatively new restaurant in Chattanooga. As they opened back in 2018. So uh, there is a lot of space inside of here. They have some really cool garage style doors that will open when they want a little of the outside air in. And then they have a really cool bar area in the back. So a lot of some of those cooler options like the bar area are currently open. So we can't really do a lot with showing you some of those cool things. And we're just grabbing a quick lunch. So this is what the bar area looks like uh, deserted. And here's the outside bar area and a little patio there that are also not really being in use during the time I filmed this. Hopefully it's being finally opened up for use by this time. This film was made back in the summer of 2020. Well, let's take a look at this menu now. So we have blackened swordfish served over fava bean puree with a succotash made with heirloom cherry tomatoes, grilled corn, red bell pepper, fava bean, and lardon. And we have our specialty cocktail of the Melrose Mule and specialty oysters and House Bar Cats, Virginia, Murder Points, Alabama, and Sugar Shacks, New Jersey. Then we have the normal uh, menu with appetizers and oysters with firecracker shrimp, shrimp cocktail, steamboat spinach and crawfish dip, blue crab cake, the smokestack, chicken fingers and fries, natural ordinary cheese balls, crab stuffed mushrooms, oysters Rockefeller, oysters Bienville, bay oysters on the half shell, and soup, she crab soup, seafood gumbo, loaded potato soup, and then we have our salad selection and then a steak selection with ribeye, center cut filet mignon, New York strips, center cut top sirloin, and then chops, the chop and the chop marsala. Then on the other side we have chicken, Polynesian chicken, Florentine chicken, marsala chicken, seafood, stuffed shrimp, fried lobster tail, crab legs, pan seared sea scallops, fried specialties, fish and chips, fried shrimp, crispy sole, Desserts, key lime pie, chocolate chocolate cake, chef's choice cheesecake, chef's choice cast iron cookie bake, chef's choice cream brulee. And then we have sandwiches with the po' boys, the tuna melter, the fab, then burgers, the beyond burger, the all American, the smokehouse, and then our side items here. Loaded baked potato, rice pilaf, steakhouse fries, sweet potato fries, grilled asparagus, skin on garlic mashed potatoes, corn cobbets, collard greens with ham hock, Brussels sprouts with pork belly and sriracha honey, uh, steakhouse cream spinach, citrus sauteed broccolini, and coleslaw. So they start you off here with a nice little bread basket with hush puppies and cornbread. Look at this stuff. And for my entree, I went with the fish and chips to see how it is. Little fish and chips. The 
chips and the fish and chips. So this definitely is not a United Kingdom style fish and chips, but uh, you know, we're in Chattanooga, not the UK, so different place, different style. Coleslaw. So we really have to actually eat and run, so I don't have a whole lot of time in the video to show you everything I did. But uh, the hush puppies were good. I did enjoy the hush puppies and the cornbread. The fish and chips were um, nothing special really. They were not the best I've ever had. They're not the worst I've ever had. They're probably, I'd say, a little bit below average. Um, the crust on it just wasn't as crispy and crunchy as I usually like. Um, I probably would not get that dish again here, but they have a lot of other things here I want to try. And then another issue you need to be aware of is the parking here does cost money. They will get 50% off the parking when you eat here. Overall, this is a really fun and cool looking place and I'll definitely be back, so you should check it out yourself. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.